So what I want to do in this video is look at some of the common uh, notation you see with the Fourier transform that I'm going to be using in my videos and that you'll see online and in other places. Uh, so the uh, first thing is that uh, we denote the Fourier transform with this curly f and we say that curly the Fourier transform of a function f of x is curly f bracket f of x. And so curly f out in front. And then you might ask, well, what's up with these brackets? Why didn't I just use parentheses? Well, the reason is that this f out in front is what's called a functional. And all a functional is is uh, something that takes as its argument another function. And so in this case, for example, uh, we're not giving this function, you know, 2 as an argument. We're giving it some function f of x as an argument. And that's why we have to have these, these braces right here. Okay, that's good. But then, you know, what, 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 I mean, we don't always want to keep writing this thing around. And so well, what's another way of writing this? Well, what some people will do is they'll say that the Fourier transform is also capital F of K or, or, or whatever, whatever your new variable is in Fourier space. Some people like capital F. Um, one that you might see on Wikipedia a lot is F hat of K. That one's also common. Um, some people also might do like an F tilde on top or twiddle, but these are the two most common ones that I've seen. And then these are the ones that you're, you're most likely to encounter. Uh, so that's the forward Fourier transform. The backward Fourier transform, people write uh, in a very similar way. They write uh, F minus one of then F of K or F hat. And yeah, and then th this just gets us back to our F of X. Okay, so there's that. Uh, the other thing is that um, the other thing is that the exact form of the integral that you use for the Fourier transform is convention dependent. And broadly speaking, there are three conventions. There's uh, what's sort of called the mathematician's convention. And in the mathematician's convention, you have that the Fourier transform of f of x is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity f of x e to the minus i kx dx. And then the backwards transformation uh, is same type of deal, but now we have this one over two pi out in front. f of k e to the i k x d k. And so what changed between the two? We got this factor of uh, 1 over 2 pi out in front, and the sign in our exponential changed. And so th those, are, those, are, uh, those are the only differences we have be between the two. Okay, um, so that, that's what's sort of called the mathematician's convention. Um, it's the one that you know, you'll most often see in math courses, though you know, not only is there are exceptions, but you know, this, this is the most common one. This is the one that I saw in my math class. Uh, so, so there's that one. Uh, there's also what's sometimes called the engineer's uh, Fourier transform. And this is the one that you see most often on Wikipedia. And for this one, you have that your Fourier transform of f of x is equal to uh, integral minus infinity to infinity f of x. And then our exponential is e to the minus i 2 pi kx dx. And so we get this extra factor of 2 pi up in there. And that extra factor of 2 pi is kind of nice because uh, what, it, what it does uh, is it makes life a little bit nicer because we no longer need a constant out in front. Our, our 4a transform can just be I know, integral f of x times this exponential going forward and backwards integral this, this function e to the positive i 2 pi kx dk. And so, I mean, this is just kind of nice because now it's notationally a little bit simpler because you don't have to worry about this constant out in front, but uh, you have this two pi in the, in the exponential that you have to think about. And then the only other convention I'll mention here, and then there are, there are a lot of different conventions, but, but these are the most popular. And that this is the, the sort of physics or, or physicists convention. And in physics, the quantum mechanics has sort of chosen uh, which Fourier transform it likes best. And the one it's chosen 
is one that's very similar to the mathematician's convention, except instead of putting the 2 pi on just one of the d integrals, it splits it evenly between the forward transform and the backwards transform. So we have our, our forward looks like this, and our backwards looks like this. Same, same, almost exactly the same. This is also sometimes called called the uh, symmetric convention, just because you're, you're, you're making things be symmetric by splitting up that one over two pi between the two. So these are the three conventions that you'll, you'll see most often. And I'll, and I'll, I'll be switching between these a little bit in my videos, but later on I'll, I'll have a, another video which really goes into the, the details of how all the properties we're going to learn are different between these three. So, so for example, um, in, 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 in later videos, we'll see that, you know, we have, we have something that's like, you know, the, the, the integral of f, f of x absolute value squared is equal to the integral of f of k absolute value squared. And there's going to be some constant out in front, depending on which convention you use. And so I'm going to, I'm going to run, do a whole new video going into those details because People use these three conventions somewhat evenly, and so it's good to know what exactly changes in each case. Um, but I think that's all I want to say on conventions. The, the last thing I'll add is that people don't always use K right here. So sometimes if you're Fourier transforming a, uh, some function which represents a frequency, for example, sometimes what will happen is people will uh, have their function be a function of T, and then the independent variable in Fourier space will be omega. So that's one choice of this k that's, or, or of k and x that some people have. Uh, the other is that sometimes, you know, if people are using x, they won't always use k. And so sometimes people will use uh, this Greek letter c, uh, also commonly called squiggle. Um, and, and so the, the, these are just, you know, and I think, I think Wikipedia uses this uh, squiggle quite a bit. And so these are just uh, some of the things to be looking out for when, when people are doing the Fourier transform. Uh, so I think I'll stop it there. And in the next video, I'll start doing some examples with the Fourier transform. So hope to see you there.